It's been probably a few weeks since we've done a grocery haul and I have this problem where I find it really difficult to buy groceries and not tell everyone what I got. So we're gonna do a dedicated grocery haul video. Everything purchased was from either Smith's or Sprouts. First things first, my newest favorite addition into my diet these are sourdough burger buns. The brand is Crystal and I get these at Sprouts. The ingredients are so clean. It's just really exciting to have bread back in my diet. As you guys know, I'm trying to start some sourdough. My first batch completely failed with the starter. So I started a new one this morning. I'll keep you updated and hopefully this one turns out better. Next, I picked up two dozen eggs. Picked up a package of this Kerrygold grass-fed cheddar slices and putting these on burgers, kind of turning into a huge burger girl recently. I've been on tacos for months and since finding those buns, I've really been a burger girl, so always have to have cheese slices on hand. Zachary got his Chobani strawberry Greek yogurt. I picked up two of these six packs of the Zevia ginger root beer. This is probably our favorite soda. I'd say we have one almost every night together when we sit down to watch to show and they were on mega sale so that's why i picked them up for yogurt this week i'm trying out the Kelowna supernatural organic whole milk plain yogurt you guys know my favorite yogurt ever is the sheep's milk yogurt i can never remember the brand but i can only ever find it at one specific grocery store and it's a much further drive than the rest of the stores and i don't really want to make a drive there for one thing so i'm going to try this one out this week i tried their sour cream and their cottage cheese and it's delicious. I love what they stand for. I've been following them on Instagram for a while now. All of their stuff is grass-fed and it's not raw because that's illegal in Nevada, but it is only heated to the lowest temperature required for it to be pasteurized. So you're getting much more nutrients in this versus something that says like ultra pasteurized. So I'm assuming it's gonna taste great. And here's a perfect example of something that is ultra pasteurized. Unfortunately, it's very hard to find good whole milk where I'm at in Nevada, at least in Vegas. So this is like kind of the best thing that I can find. It's the Organic Valley grass milk. So it's 100% grass fed this is so delicious you guys good quality milk is so good and so good for you there are so many vitamins and nutrients so big fan i put this in my matcha smoothies and my fruit smoothies and my coffee if i have that two bundles of bananas you already know the drill on that one i've actually got some bananas that are really brown right now and i'm tempted to make banana bread or banana muffins or something i just need to find a recipe sounds yummy okay Next, I got Zachary a little package of raspberries. I really try to stay away from buying raspberries because it's like they go bad in five minutes, no matter what method you store them. But this brand from Sprouts always does a little bit better. It's Fresh Campo. I don't know. It just does way better than Driscoll's raspberries. So if you can find these i recommend these they're really big raspberries too look at those such good quality all right next i got two containers of strawberries i'm personally still not eating strawberries at the moment because of their high histamine content but zachary loves him some strawberries in the morning with honey so i picked up those for him and last but not least i got us two big packages of these organic blueberries these look so good i've never seen this brand before it's the norris farms and i saw this at Sprouts so I want to try out these. These are going to be so good mixed in with sliced banana in that yogurt I showed you with some honey and cinnamon on top. It's so yummy. Now that is everything I got from those two physical stores but I also ordered from Amazon Fresh so I thought I would kind of just give you a rundown of that as well. Plan on making tuna salad this week. It's been a while since I've done that but I need to switch it up a little bit. The burgers and tacos are kind of getting boring. So for that recipe I got a organic sweet yellow onion, fresh organic dill, and some organic celery. I kind of chop all that up and mix it in. Of course, we got three bags <laughs> of organic avocados. These are just like the whole foods ones. Zachary needed some shampoo, so we got him that. He uses the Method Men's 2-in-1, the cedar and cypress scent. It smells really good. Then I got this organic raw cheddar cheese. One of my faves, the sharp cheddar is always sold out, so I had to go with the regular cheddar, but that's okay. It's so yummy. I went ahead and added three Three of these to my cart it's the wagyu beef like beef jerky almost they're really really good they've got honey in them so you get that traditional like teriyaki 
beef jerky flavor, but it's really good quality grass-fed beef. I'm on my cottage cheese grind right now, and I have such bad portion control when it comes to cottage cheese because I will eat the entire like week's worth of cottage cheese in one sitting. I love it so much. But I found Good Culture has single serve packages on Amazon Fresh, and they're the full fat, which I love. So I went ahead and got four of these in hopes that I will contain myself and only eat one when I sit down to have a cottage cheese. And then I also just got a little goat cheese, organic. I like to put that on kind of anything, but especially in my tuna salad. Last, last thing, I just got some baking soda because we are running low and I use that in cleaning a lot of the time. So yeah, that's everything. Pretty soon here, I'm going to be stocking up on like snack travel type of things because we are going on a two week long trip coming up in August. I really can't eat out anywhere. It's not a luxury that I have at the moment. So I will be packing up a ton of to-go things. I'm gonna be hopefully packing my own sourdough bread, lots of those beef sticks. Like I showed you, I'll get some venison ones as well to switch it up. Um, probably some grain-free cheese chips, probably some bananas, and then on the road, since it's a two week road trip, I will be stopping at a grocery store probably every other day to pick up fresh fruit and things like that. So I guess keep a lookout for a video talking about eating very strictly while away from home because I think it's gonna be really interesting. I'm nervous, but I'm also excited because I know I can do it. And I think it's just gonna be a cool testament to show people like it doesn't have to be convenient for it to be necessary, if that makes sense. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.